Hello everybody, this is Rob from the Fluid team. We just released our version 20 update to Fluid that includes multiplayer. So I wanted to make a quick video to show everyone how to use that. Here on our updated dock, this button is the create or join room button. If you open that up, it will open up our new multiplayer UI. This is where you enter a room code here. You want to make sure it is a unique room code that can't be easily guessed so that no one else can join your room with you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the keyboard. I'm going to type out a room code. Uh, all right, let's open that up. Great, and I think Orson is already in here with me. Orson, are you there? Yeah, what's up, dude? Awesome. All right, so uh, this button right here will open up the shared window. If you click that, there we go. All right, so. That is playing this video that Orson already uh, was watching before I got in. A um, little parkour video for you. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. So now I can control the video. Orson, can I have you put your cursor over it so we can see yours? Yep, so this dot right here, that is Orson's cursor. So he can control the window with me as well. Anyone in this room can control the window. So keep that in mind. Um, also, uh, just so you know, this window can be accessed by anyone else in this room. So if you sign into any accounts um, or anything like that, you just want to make sure that you bring people in that you trust because um, they can access all of this. So once we're in, uh, everyone can control, everyone can click on tab. So if I click on this Hacker News tab here, uh, now we can both see that as well. We can also do things like create new tabs like Orson just did. He's scrolling through it. Um, great, so the other thing with this shared window is it will close down whenever everyone leaves. Uh, it'll delete all the data that was, uh, all the browsing data that was being used for uh, y'all's session. But if you decide you wanna make sure it is deleted even while everyone's still in the room, you can click this delete shared computer button right here. And that will just terminate that shared computer and delete it for everyone. There we go. So now the computer's dead. If I open it back up, it will give me a fresh new window. And we can then continue browsing from there. Great. I think that was everything. Orson, is there any other uh, multiplayer stuff you wanted to add to that? Nope, I think you nailed it. Awesome. All right. See you guys in the next update.